Hi, my name is Benjamin Young. Thank you for choosing Eagle Rider. First thing we're going to do is go over some basic controls on the motorcycle that you probably rented. Every bike is different, but we want to go over some basic fundamentals for you. On your left side is your clutch lever in your left hand. On your left foot is your shift lever. Typical shift pattern is one through five or six gears with neutral between first and second. This may vary depending on the motorcycle that you have chosen. You also have on your left hand your horn button. You have your high and your low beam. On your left hand, you also have your left turn signal. Every motorcycle is different, but on this motorcycle, all brakes are on the right hand side. Front brakes on your right hand, rear brakes on your right foot. And on your right hand is your right turn signal. Above your start button, you have your hazards with your four-way flashers with the lights on the dashboard. You also have your emergency shutoff switch, which needs to be in the run position for the bike to run. And in the off position, which is up, there is no power to the ignition circuit when the bike is turned on. On your right hand is your throttle control. We're now going to use a program called Record360 to capture the condition of the motorcycle, noting if any imperfections so that when you return the motorcycle, we can match that up to the condition of the motorcycle left in. So there are various different controls on each motorcycle, depending on how you lock up the motorcycle, check the oil, the fuel, or the suspension. So remember to check and talk with the staff at your local location when picking up your motorcycle for any questions or concerns that you might have. Do not drink and drive. Alcohol decreases your ability to react and accurately judge traffic situations. Your reaction time, cognitive skills, and vision will be impaired if you drink and ride. Use both brakes. Your stopping power is 30% in the rear brake and 70% in the front. Using both brakes every time to stop will ensure you have 100% of all available stopping power. Never tailgate when riding your bike. Always use a three second following distance, allowing you more time to react and control your braking when traffic suddenly stops. The three second following distance also makes you more visible to the traffic in front of you. After the vehicle in front of you passes a fixed object, count one motorcycle one, two motorcycle two, three motorcycle three, and if you have not passed the fixed object, then you are at least three seconds behind it. Always ride in a staggered formation. Each rider will be two or three seconds behind the rider directly in front and using the same half of the lane. When coming to a stop, the group generally forms up two abreast side by side. When a group starts off, the rider on the left starts first. Exercise caution when carrying a passenger. Maneuvering and stopping your bike is more difficult when carrying a passenger. Get comfortable with the extra weight by taking a spin around the block before going on the highway. Take a moment to remind your passenger to stay still, keep their feet on the pegs and their hands on your waist. Avoid riding next to a truck. Trucks and 18-wheelers have huge blind spots. Use a space cushion and stay out of the large blind spots altogether. You never know when a truck is going to change lanes. Wear protective gear. Seasonal road conditions change throughout the year. Other vehicles can violate your right of way. Remember to wear eye protection and a DOT compliant helmet, jacket, and gloves. Full riding gear offers the best protection while on your motorcycle. Our commitment to you. Eagle Rider cares about your safety and we want you to enjoy your ride. That's why we carefully inspect your rental and make sure it meets our high standards. We look forward to seeing you out on the open road. Safe travels 